Here's another proportionality question. So they tell us that AF to FG is four parts to three. So we can say four X to the three X. You could use R, W, whatever letter you want, actually. They also tell us that the length of AE is 12 centimeters. Now another, okay, so the question says find AD, but before we do that, a little trick I just thought that we could try is to identify triangles that have parallel lines in this diagram. So, and we're not looking for triangles like this, where the parallel lines do that. What I mean when I say triangles with parallel lines is that the parallel lines are at the bottom. So, one, so the bottom parallel line is the base of the triangle. That's what we're looking for in this section. So for example, here's one over here. See, because for the, we've got parallel lines and this parallel line here is the base. So that's what we're looking for. And then there's also one over here because we've got parallel lines and one of the parallel lines is the base. Okay, so those are the only two triangles that we are gonna work in in this question. It's as simple as that. So which triangle, so out of the two that we've just highlighted, which one has AD? Well, that would be this one. So now what we need to do is form a ratio with AD. So we can see that, so we've got AD, so we can say AD, over. Now you want to choose something in this in this lower green half, so from A to E. You want to choose something that we already have. Well, we already have AE, because that's 12, so we'll say AE. Now that's going to be the same as, so now you look to the other side, which is between A and C, and you want to match that directly. So what matches AD? Well, if we go across, that's AB. And what matches the whole of AE? Well, that would be the whole of AC. So you see, if I had to, if I had to show you what that triangle looks like over here, with, so we've got that green triangle. So we said this side over the whole length is the same as this side over the whole length. And then our reason for that, obviously, in a test you would write it next to it, but I don't have space, so I would say that that is the prop theorem, which stands for proportionality theorem, and that is because the lines BD, well, that line is parallel to. EC. I'm not going to use these parallel lines because that's not what we're using in this triangle. So we know that we have AE, but we don't have AB over AC. So now this is how these questions work. You're now going to go look for AB and AC. Now obviously in this green triangle, AB and BC does exist, or AB and AC, then it would just, we would just be going back and forwards though. We would go to, we would say that AB is the same as AD, which we've already used, and then AC would be the same as AE. But we want to work in a different triangle now, so have a look at this. Aha, so there we've got our other triangle that we looked at earlier, and that has AB and AC. Because see, we've got AB over there, and we've got AC over there. And we can use these parallel lines. So that now we can say that AB over AC is going to be the same as, well, AB now matches AF, whereas in the other triangle you would have used AD. But it always depends on what parallel lines you are using. So now AB goes with AF this time, and AC will go with AG. Whereas in the previous triangle, AC goes with A, E, but that's when you are using these parallel lines. You see, so that's the important part. And then you're gonna say prop theorem, or line parallel to other side of triangle, and then you must say which lines are parallel. All well, this time it's B, F is parallel to C, G. Okay, but now A, F to F, G, or A, F, sorry. A, F we know is 4, X. AG, well if that's 4x and that's 3x, then AG would be 7x. So AB over AC, the x's would cancel, is going to be equal to 4 over 7. So therefore, AB over AC is 4 over 7. But this is fantastic because now we have AB over AC, and that is exactly what we needed over there. So we can fill it in, so AD, and then AE's length is 12, and then AB over AC is 4 over 7. We can then get AD by itself, and that's going to be 48 over 7.